a back to part four, I think, of this uh, Civ playthrough example guide, whatever you want to call it. And what's happening? Hmm. This city, I'm trying to specialise a bit to make it a high production city. These new ones, I'm just going to build basics in them to get them up to speed. Not growing, not growing. This one's not growing. Well, yes, I can allow it to grow a bit if I stop production there, but plonk it here instead and I get a tiny surplus of food. See if it's there. They're eating all the food. But productivity then goes down, down, down. But I suppose it has to grow a bit. So let's see. Let's see if that helps. Otherwise, <coughs> I'm a little worried that this chappy is getting a bit powerful. <coughs> Let's have another longbow man. Should I build a settler? Well, I've basically filled up this island, um, but I'm getting now, it's 1480 AD. I should be thinking about exploring the world a bit. Uh, I'm going to be starting to discover technologies um, like caravels and stuff which will allow me to sail around in deep water. <coughs> so I should probably start building some settlers and whatnot to try and get ready for that stage. The Portuguese have some big advantages um, which we'll see shortly I suppose. Get these defenders up to speed by enhancing their defense capabilities. You get a little upgrade with certain civics and certain wonders. Okay, I've done what I can do here production-wise, I think. All the, the hills are mined. It would be nice to get these into my territory as well by boosting the culture here a bit. But that worker has done what he can do for now, I think. So let's just get him to connect up the cities over here. Build a road there. Right. And you can explore around here. Go on. Find out what's going on. How come he's got so many cities? Should check just how many cities he does have by speaking to him. Barbarians. You can also check, again, power. OK, I'm keeping up with him, but he's, he's certainly working on it. Right, since I added 10% to my culture expenditure, I've jumped ahead of him. That's good. I'll start taking territory off him in the long run, I suppose. <coughs> Productivity is good. Crop yield, not so good. I need to build farms, I need some farming technologies. 
Um, yes, we'll have a look at those. Perhaps. But I want to start exploring the world. That's also important. Got some new units. Good. Optics for exploring the world. Man, very good against his um, horse based units. Now, oh, well, literature one, it'll allow me to, to build some, some fancy wonders. He's got a green guy there, which means the health is low, and aqueduct <coughs> is plus two health there, the little red cross. So there it is, a settler. Send him into Lisbon. Get ready for the exploration age. building some ocean-going boats very soon, I hope. Ooh. I can gain a plus one rations boost with Suvariaman. I can get some info. Or I can do nothing. Well, let's do what's politically necessary, hey? I don't have a particular job for this guy now. So I'll just automate him. The crossbowmen have a first strike. And they're good against melee units, so let's up that even further. And my satellite will snooze there waiting for future technology. Waiting for when we can explore the world properly. So it's been a good 10% city attack plus, so let's increase that enormously. There we go. National Epic. Go for it. great artist and I was thinking of trying to push these borders out. If you look at this city, culture, it's 385 out of 2500 it says at the top of that box. At 2500 the city borders expand or try to. So if I can send my great artist up there and produce a great work, you see on the left there it says that produces plus 2,680, so he will get this city over the threshold if he builds his great work in that city. So off he goes. Globe Theatre, go on, keep me happy. If 
5 million souls, hooray, what is the big picture? Trade is better, <coughs> health is terrible, soldiers is mediocre, food is pretty poor, gold is pretty poor, wow, okay. Oh, he's there, so build your great work. Louis Armstrong. Yeah. Optics and it allows the Carrack. With the Portuguese Their carrack is better than the normal caravel. Astronomy, that allows me to build galleons, which is the normal way for sending settlers around the world. But the Portuguese have a big, big advantage because because they can build Carracks, which can carry settlers as well. I'm currently building the Globe Theatre, however, let's hope it finishes quickly. We're needing some guys to send with my settlers, so let's build a few. Just mine is not bad considering I'm stuck on a little island here. Oh, our eldest scholars have collaborated on an effort to collect, record, and preserve all of our oral traditions and unwritten literature. They require storage space for pottery, stone, tablets, and other artifacts, as well as special repositories within our cities. You are tasked by our scholars to build enough libraries to hold newly recorded texts of the ancient stories. Uh, here we go 11 libraries in various cities. Not even sure I've got 11 cities. And if I can build the Great Library, even better. Hmm. Oh, well, I, I take these as potluck, these opportunities. I, whether I'll get to them or not, I don't know. But I will build libraries here and there whenever I need to. Seem to have libraries everywhere anyway, by looks of it. Pretty much. Oh. Well, not here. Hmm. Granary first, he's got to grow. Oh, and the border has indeed been pushed out. So I can send a worker back to do something. We've got windmills here, which they produce a bit of food. Can emphasize production. It's producing quite a lot, I have to say. Don't need to emphasize it. Keep an eye on it. There we go, Carrack. Another one, please.
left my window open so it's making extra noise here so anyway the carrack has fighting power hmm. Of me, um, but I don't want him to fight <coughs> much. So defense, he can uh, evade combat. Load up a settler and an archer, and go explore. <coughs> build an empire, or at least <laughs> start to do something. Ten percent withdrawal chance, so if something attacks it and is losing, he has a chance to escape. Onto the boat with you. Onto the boat with you. Explore. Brilliant. <coughs> Had this not been the Portuguese, I would have to build caravels to explore first, and then um, galleons, but Portuguese can get out there real quick. run out of settlers now. So. Build a horse archer but I don't have stables there so it's not going to be much much good. You might as well just explore in your own way now. <coughs> Gotta wait for settlers so go to sleep. I should head to Lisbon. Longbowman might as well head to Lisbon as well, actually. There we go. On the boat with you. Uh, or a crossbow man will do as your defender. Off you go. Explore. boat. 
on the same boat. So that way I can go to sleep on this boat. Can explore. Have the others found anything? Uh, have they found the South Pole? All right. Over here? Nothing much yet. Okay. Oof, hope that didn't make you feel uh, a bit too seasick. Um, right. Hmm. Now this city is not growing. It's producing a lot. city but uh, it's only 11. Um, I might be able to push that up a bit somehow. But looking at the cities here, the, the squares, there's not much uh, where there's any extra food anyway. There are windmills here already generating a bit of extra food at the expense of some production because I could have mines there. Hmm. Maybe I have to wait for more advanced technology. Irrigation technology or biology or something. Train to Carrick, let's train another one. Oh, I have found somewhere and it's populated. Hello. Let's see what we can do. Open borders. Go for it. What else? World map. Well, I've discovered almost nothing, so there's no harm. He might know something. He does indeed. Good. Farewell. founded Islam. All aboard. Your defender. Explore. Now what does Mr. India know? That's India. But what's this? <coughs> Japan. Hmm. They are not yet exploring, I s suspect. No. Okay. <coughs> I don't want to trade any more world maps now. Because it were certainly not if I've discovered somewhere inhabitable, because um, the computer player will get there first if it can, and it can. I think it. I think it cheats. So there you go. Settler, and I'll send a defender with him because it's a bit short of them. Obsolete defensive unit. Oh, I'll send a decent one with you. Okay, off we go. Explore.
of settlers, you have to wait. Somebody's discovered liberalism. The uh, desire to improve things with the liberal values. There you go. The belief that we can improve the world. Hooray. Swordsmen, great city attackers. So let's improve that even further. not to trade the map anymore. You might have some... I don't know about that, but what will you give me for 30 gold pieces? Nothing. Okay. No pool. Another great artist. Let's send him here. Push my borders out. Axemen are good against melee units, so boost that. And I'm going to have to save the game soon. So a little bit more. Just one more turn. Oh. Renaissance area. I don't have my 11 libraries, so I think I've lost that challenge, but so what. Right, astronomy. Oh, I've just discovered it. I can build galleons and frigates and stuff like that. <coughs> Irrigation from civil service. That's probably worth doing. Do a quick boost of my uh, science, I think, while I've, when I think about it. And we'll see in the next game how the Empire develops, or if I can even settle anywhere <laughs> at all. Um, so there we go. Bye for now.